Hi, I'm Tom Jones, and welcome to another free art lesson. I wanted to discuss briefly with you uh, today uh, about doing a painting exercises or several painting exercises on a small scale, as opposed to getting up in the morning, taking a full sheet of watercolor paper or a half sheet, and sitting down and thinking that you need to always complete a finished painting. I would suggest to you, especially if you're a beginning painter, that you take a, a smaller sheet of paper, maybe five by seven as an example, and do small exercises. In other words, just practice doing something like trees. Just practice doing rocks. Just practice doing water. Just practice doing skies. Break down the painting into smaller elements and just have a lot of fun with it. Uh, here's an example for you right here. This happens to be a small painting that was done uh, in uh, Tennessee, up in the mountains, uh, on the Pigeon River, on the Little Pigeon River. But it was about a 30-minute exercise of just taking a small brush, a sheet of paper, and then coming in and doing a small exercise on some crashing or, or waterfalls, on some rock area and some tree area, and just experimenting with color, using the varieties of colors in the rocks, the various varieties of colors and have a little more fun with that. One of the mistakes, I think, in doing a large painting every day or every time you sit down to paint is that sometimes you get in a rut and you lose your creativity. Whereas opposed to, let's say, doing a smaller exercise, you are not so afraid of all of a sudden having a finished product to show someone. I would suggest doing a couple of things. Let me take a moment here and just take as an example putting down some color. I'll just pick up some color in my palette. It could be any color. In this case, it's a little bit of yellow ochre, maybe a little bit of, of yellow. And just have fun doing some abstract brush strokes and seeing what can happen. Just do a small building as an example. I'll pick up another color in this case. I'll pick up a little bit of a burnt sienna and just add a little bit of that color to it. Experiment. You may want to pick up maybe a little bit of a light green in this case. Just put down color on your paper, on a small sheet of paper, and have fun doing this. The reason for it is you'll learn more about color, you'll learn more about the paper, and how to use different brush strokes to get different shapes and so forth than you can sometimes by always being so serious about doing a finished painting. Come in and add, as an example, some area of tree, if you wish, just to show you I'll put in a couple of areas of some small tree here, and then we'll continue on and maybe put in a leafy area on those trees. But notice all of a sudden, it starts to take shape. So let's come in and pick up maybe a little bit of our light green again. And come in and just suggest maybe a few tree, uh, leaves on this particular tree. Have a little fun with these ideas. Sometimes these small paintings that I've done, such as here, can turn out to be more interesting than even a large painting. So let's take, as an example, just put in some area of green here. Let's pick up a different color of green. Let's go to a darker green. Let's have a little fun with that. And we'll have a little variety going on with the color of green in the leaves. See how much fun that can be? Take your brush and experiment with different shapes and so forth. Maybe let's suggest maybe a couple of areas of leaf coming off the edge of the tree, just on the edge of the tree. And all of a sudden, you can start working on a small exercise like this, and it can turn into a nice, very simple, elegant painting. And sometimes these small paintings are more elegant than even the large paintings. They're richer sometimes, they're more powerful sometimes, but you can have a lot of fun with this. Let's take and see what happens when we add a little bit of that green into the tree trunk. See, it's just an experiment. Have fun with it. As an example, let's take a little bit of the green and add just a little bit more, maybe at the base of the trees, just putting in color and having fun. All of a sudden, you've got these fantastic paintings, small paintings that can turn out to be wonderful little exercises for you that you can enjoy. And sometimes people like the smaller paintings better than the larger paintings. This is just a brief example, but that's how this started out. It started out with just experimenting with some color and having a little fun, then decided to turn it into a painting right there on location near the river.
So I hope you'll take this to heart and start working a little bit more with practicing doing smaller exercises rather than always doing the finished masterpiece. I want to let you know as well, we're here in Raleigh, North Carolina at the Annual Art of the Carolinas, sponsored by Jerry's Artorama every year. This is a huge event. We have about 20 or 40 artists from around the world who come here and teach workshops. We have many, many students who come from around the world to take those workshops. In addition, we have a large trade show that goes on where you can come and purchase any item that pertains to the art business. In addition to that, we have a lot of fun. It's become almost like a family reunion. This is our 10th annual consecutive year of doing this. Come join us next year in this fun. Come sign up for the workshops. Come experience the ambiance of the area. Come have fun. Come to our trade show. I hope you'll join us next year at Here in the Art of Carolinas in Raleigh, North Carolina. Thanks for joining.